Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This channel has a lot of information that is useful for foreign parents in Germany, but especially for foreign mothers living in Germany. And on today's video I'm going to show you how to calculate your Elterngeld, the parental allowance, in Germany. I would like to emphasize that this video is about the Elterngeld, the parental allowance in Germany and not the Mutterschaftsgeld, the maternity pay or maternity allowance in Germany. The Mutterschaftsgeld usually you receive during the Mutterschaftsfrist and it starts usually six weeks before the, your due date and it goes until usually eight weeks after you're giving birth. If you want to know more information about the Mutterschaftsfrist, Mutterschaftsgeld, uh, please check this video that I did. I will put it here on the cards. But today I'm going to talk about the Elterngeld or the parental allowance in Germany. And it usually starts directly after the Mutterschaftsfrist for the birth giving mother and for the other partner, it can start directly after your child was born. You can choose the extension and type of Elterngeld that you would like to have, of course, with some limitations and rules. If you want to know more about Elterngeld, to have an overview about what it is and how it works, please check uh, this video that I did about that. I will leave it also on the cards. And if you want to know more in detail about the three types of Elterngeld that you could have in Germany, please check this other video. I will leave both of them here on the cards. The information on this video applies for parents whose children were born after the 31st of August of 2021. If your child was born before the 1st of September of 2021, then other rules may apply in some situations. The amount of your Elterngeld, parent allowance in Germany, usually depends on the answers of these questions. And the first one is, which type of parent allowance are you going to apply to? Is just the basic parent allowance or the parent allowance plus also, or and um, the partnership bonus. Also, what has been your income until you're starting your parental allowance? And uh, how much are you going to earn? How will be your income um, while you're receiving parental allowance? Are you receiving any other state benefits? Also, do you have other small children at home? And are you expecting uh, twins or other multiples? Depending on how your income was until date, you may receive for basis parental allowance a minimum of 300 euros and a maximum of 1,800 euros. And for parental allowance plus, you may receive between 150 euros or 900 euros. And uh, this amount may be even higher if you have already small children at home or if you are expecting twins or other multiples. If you had no income before, or if your income uh, was the same before and after, then you uh, get to receive the minimum of 300 euros for basic parent allowance or 150 euros for um, Elterngeld Plus or Parent Allowance Plus. For a non-binding estimate of how much parent allowance you uh, could receive, please check the website of the Familienportal, which is www.familienportal.de. I will leave it here. So, if you are going for basis parent allowance and you're not receiving any income after your child was born, then it will be 65% of your income before your child was born. But if you are receiving some income because, for example, you are working part-time after your child was born, then um, your basic parent allowance will be 65% of the difference between the income you were receiving before your child was born and the income you are receiving now. Note that the net income used to calculate parent allowance may differ a little bit from your actual net income. But now let me explain these two options for basic parent allowance with some examples. In the first example, we have a mother that had an income of 2000 euros per month before the child's birth. After the child's birth, she stays at home and has no income. She claims basic parental allowance. The net income before the child's birth is 2000, the net income after the child's birth is zero, so the difference is 2000. So the basic parent allowance will be 65% of the difference, which is 2000, 65% uh, of 2000, uh, which is 1300 euros per month. And now, on the second example, we have a mother that returns to work after six months, initially on a part time basis. She earns 500 euros a month. This changes the amount of basic parental allowance she receives. So she had a net income before the child's birth of 2000. She had a net income after the child's birth of 500. The difference is 1500. So the basic parental allowance will be 65% of this difference, which is 975 euros per month. Together with her net income, this means that after returning to work, the mother receives a total income of 500 euros plus 975 euros, which is 1,475 euros per month. 
But don't forget that if you had no income before your child was born, or if your income before and after a child was born is the same and the difference between the incomes is zero, then you will always um, have the right to receive 300 euros for the basic parental allowance. Uh, but if you do the calculations and you would end up with a number that is higher than 1,800 euros, then you will receive a maximum of 1,800 euros because that's the limit, the top limit for the basic parental allowance in Germany. And now the calculation to receive Elterngeld Plus or Partnerschaftsbonus is the same. And um, you calculate as you would receive basic Elterngeld or basic parental allowance, but you divide it per two, so it's the half. But to make it up to it, you can receive it, the parental allowance plus, for as double as you can receive the basis parental allowance. Um, and uh, the partnership bonus, you cannot receive the double, but the calculation is the same. Again, if you had no income before your child was born, or if your income before and after your child was born was the same, and thus the difference between incomes is zero, you can always get for parental allowance plus um, the minimum, which is half of the minimum of basic parental allowance, uh, which is 150 euros per month. And now let me give you an example how the parental allowance plus can be calculated. So, we have again the same mother that was receiving, before the child was born, 2,000 euros per month, and after the child's birth, she's receiving zero. So the difference is 2,000, and for the basic parent allowance, which is 65% of the difference, um, is 1,300 euros per month, as we've seen before, and half of this amount, which they call also the cap, is 650 euros. Um, so this will be the amount for parent allowance plus. The total parental allowance for 12 months, if she will choose uh, basic parental allowance, will be 1,300 euros. So it will be, in the end, 15,600 euros. And the total parental allowance plus, if she will um, opt for parental allowance plus for 24 months, because here um, you can have the double of time parental allowance, um, it will be also 15,600 euros. So you receive the same amount, it's just spread in... Um, a longer period of time. It is particularly worth to claim for Parent Allowance Plus if you have an income after your child was born, for example from working part-time. And uh, this is so because in some cases you might receive the same amount of Elterngeld as uh, you receive in the Basic Parent Allowance, but for Elterngeld Plus you can still receive it for the double amount of time. And to explain this a little bit better, I will give you two examples. And on the first example, we have the same mother. And we will calculate Parent Allowance Plus for her with an income. She was receiving 2,000 euros before the child's birth, and she is now receiving 1,200 euros after the child's birth because she's working part-time. The difference is then 800 euros. Um, if it would be basic parental allowance, would be 65% of that difference, which is 520 euros per month. Uh, in theory, uh, if she received basic parent allowance without income after a child's birth, as we've seen before, she would receive 1,300 euros, and half of that is 650 euros. And uh, 650 euros, it's higher than the 520 euros per month. In this example, the cap, which is this 650 euros, does not reduce the parent allowance plus. This is because the cap is more than 65% of the difference in income. As a result, the Parent Allowance Plus is the same amount as the potential basic parental allowance with income. Even so, you can receive it for twice as long. This means that the parents will ultimately receive twice as much parental allowance in total. Total basic parental allowance for 12 months will be this um, 520 euros for 12 months, which is 6,240 euros. And the total parental allowance plus for 24 months will be this 520 euros for 24 months, which is 12,480 euros. And now for the second example, we are going to calculate the same, the parent allowance plus for the same mother, but she's going to earn less after the child was born. She's going to learn 500 euros after the child was born. So the difference between before and after the child's birth is 1,500 euros. And if you calculate the basic parent allowance, 65% of the difference is 975 euros per month. In theory, the basic parental allowance without any income, it's again the same, 1,300 euros, and half of that is 650 euros, the known cap. Um, 
So the parental allowance plus will be 650 euros because in this case the cap reduces the parental allowance plus. This is because 65% of the difference in income is more than the cap. However, since parents can claim parental allowance plus for twice as long, they still end up receiving more parental allowance if they opt for parental allowance plus in this case. So if they would receive a basic parent allowance for 12 months for the same mother that is earning 500 euros after birth and was earning 2000 before, um, this will be 975 euros. In the end, 11,700 euros in total. Um, but if she opts for parent allowance plus, which is for 24 months, she could receive 650 euros for two years, which will be 15,600 euros. And the minimum amount for parent allowance plus is 150 euros and the maximum is 900 euros. For low income earners, the percentage that you receive uh, as parental allowance, it's a little bit different and it is considered low income earners if you receive less than 1,250 euros per month. And this percentage increases as less you receive. And uh, let me explain this a little bit better. So, if your income was between 1,240 euros and 1,200 euros, the percentage increases step by step from 65% to 67% as your income decreases. You will receive 65.1% for an income of 1,239 euros and 65.2% for an income of 1,236 euros and so on. If your income was between 1,200 euros and 1,000 euros, you will receive 67%. If your income was less than 1000 euros, the percentage again rises from 67% step by step until 100%. For every 2 euros that your income was below 1000 euros, the percentage rises by 0.1%. This means that if your income was 998 euros, you will receive 67.1% and uh, for 996 euros, you will receive 67.2% and so on. You will receive at least the minimum parental allowance. 300 euros for basis Elton um, and 150 euros for Elton plus or partnerships bonus, even if you had no income at all before a child was born. And now let me give you an example on how the calculation works for low income earners uh, for Elton in Germany. And on this example, uh, the mother or the father was receiving 700 euros before the child was born. And now uh, he or she is receiving 50 euros. So the difference is 650 euros. And uh, for every two euros that the income falls below 1000, the percentage rises by 0.1%. In this case, we will have to multiply 150 per 0.1% and this corresponds to 15%. This um, father or mother uh, had the right to receive 67% and now plus 15% is 82%. And 82% of um, the difference of incomes of the 650 euros is 533 euros. If you are expecting twins, then you will have a bonus on your Elton Get. And uh, for basis Elton Get, this will be 300 euros, and for Elton Get Plus, this will be 150 euros. And this amount will double if you're expecting triples, and will triple if you're expecting quadruples, and so on. Um, also, the limits, the minimum limits and the higher limits will increase um, for both Basis Elton Gad and Elton Gad Plus uh, if you have multiples. This bonus um, is called the Mehrlings Zuschlag or the Multiples Bonus, something like that in English. If you have other children living in your household, then this might decrease your Elton Gad. For Basis Elton Gad, you could get a 10% increase, so you'd not receive 65% of your previous income, but 75%. And for Parent Allowance Plus, uh, you will have an increase or a bonus of 37.5%. This is called also the sibling bonus or the Geschwister bonus in German. But for this to happen, you will have to have one of these three situations happening in your household. So you will have to have one child that is under the age of three um, or two under the age of six or one under the age of 14 with disability. There is also a siblings bonus or Geschwister bonus for adopted children and uh, to calculate it you take into account the time that has passed since the child joined your household. This also applies uh, when the adoption process is still ongoing, uh, is during this adoption care phase. But you cannot uh, receive siblings bonus um, if the child is over 14 years old. This siblings bonus um, or Geschwister bonus also raises or increases the limits to receive basis Elterngeld or um, Elterngeld Plus. Uh, so the minimum amount 
of Eltinger that you may receive, it's higher and the maximum is also higher. Here is an example of basic parental allowance with siblings bonus. So the mother receives basic parental allowance during the first 12 months of the child's life. The child for whom she receives the parental allowance has an older sister. The younger child's sister turns three when the younger child is seven months old. So the net income before the child's birth was again 2000 euros and the net income after the child's birth is zero. So the difference is 2000. For basic parental allowance, uh, which is 65% of the difference, without the siblings bonus will be 1,300 euros. With the siblings bonus, the plus 10%, um, it will be 1,430 euros. So the mother's basic parental allowance for the younger child is 1,430 euros in the first seven months of that child's life and 1,300 euros in months 8 through 12. I want to highlight again that the net income used to calculate your Elterngeld might differ from your actual net income. So I will advise you to use an online calculator. There is one from the Federal Ministry of Family Affairs um, and you can find it in a website that I'll leave it down on the description. So be sure to um, use this calculator to calculate how much Elterngeld you could earn. And also you can play with it a little bit and try different types of Elterngeld and see how much you will get in the end. Uh, so I think this is a really helpful tool to get to you um, understand what is the best option for you and your family. Also a very relevant information in my opinion is that you can still change your mind even if you already applied for Elterngeld or even and to some extent if you already receiving Elterngeld you can change it you can say now I want to do something different I thought a little bit more and uh, I want to change it uh, and that's possible with some limitations and rules, but that's possible. You can find a lot of information online, but the one that I will definitely recommend you is to visit the Familienportal website, where you can find also that calculator that I was talking before uh, to make that non-binding calculation of your Elterngeld. If you would like to have all the information on this video in a written format, don't forget to check my website. I will leave the link for it and also other relevant links on the description of this video. But for you to get the best option for you and your family, there is still much more to understand about Elterngeld side and Elton get. So I will recommend you to check my previous videos and also to stay tuned for the next ones. But if you have right now a burning question and you think that I might help you or I might point you in the right direction, don't forget to leave a comment on this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and uh, you're free to connect with me on social media and see you on the next video. Bye! A bit Usually, I'll. Uh, uh, September. September. <laughs>